It's Saturday, September the 5th, 2020, and we're about to do another one. My lady's birthday. So I gotta make this one extra special. Gonna take a good old fashioned mountain ride today. Up here, picking up Interstate 70 for a bit. Save me some time, at least as far as Frederick. After Frederick, we'll be back onto the not so beaten path, off the beaten path, whatever. A lot of westbound traffic today. I guess many other folks got the same idea. We departed around 12.30 p.m. Come around 40 miles so far. Again, kind of a nice day out there. Attempts should get into the 80s today. And some mountains coming into view. Yeah, we're getting there. And now approaching the Frederick area. I've had folks tell me that they hate it when I complain. I've had folks driving down the road recklessly. But here's the result of it, and people do that. I just saw a sign that said, they won't warn me of a crash. And all the lanes are closed, but it said on Route 40, not really this road, but we're slowing up. The last thing I need now is for something to put a damper on this odyssey. If you're flying down the road, you cause an accident, and everybody gets screwed up, not just you. To the left, there's Interstate 270 coming in to join this, and both routes become one, 70 West. Passing the US 340 exit. We've taken that road before, on many an Odyssey. That accident that they speak of should be in downtown Frederick, technically, because I-70 and Route 144 don't meet. And I should be beyond it. It'd be the sober driver, that's me. That's what the sign said. I go pick it up speed. I was right. Gonna get off here. Pick up the original National Bike for a spell. Now known as Alternate 40. And hopefully lose this guy in front of me as well. Hopefully. And the original National Bike. Which I took you ever before. And the Odyssey. As far as Ohio. And now we're ascending Catoctin Mountain. And near the top of the mountain, a streetcar line once crossed, but it came out of there before it became a road, then paralleled this road as far as Middletown. Those tall poles follow the original right-of-way of the streetcar line. Abandoned 1935, give or take. Now I can't even tell one was there. At one time, a streetcar line ran along their front lawn. But of course, back in 35, those houses weren't there yet. Wonder if that house was there back then. If the line ran as far as Hagerstown, back when it ran.
entering a place called Middletown. So place up ahead. The Secor line then bore to the right to go towards Hagerstown instead of staying along this road. Get that away somewhere. Still bet it was cold to have a streetcar track on your front lawn. And downtown Middletown with its lone spire. Apparently spruced up a bit. I can tell by the bricks at the intersections. They weren't here last I passed back in 16. Interesting place though. Interesting structures through here. And now we're departing. This was US 40 until 1948 when they bypassed it between Frederick and Hagerstown. And I can see why it was bypassed. We're going as far as Boonesboro. I'm picking up Route 34. And up here someplace begins our South Mountain ascent. And to think at one time this curvy road was the main road. And up here at the top of the mountain and the crossing of the Appalachian Trail. And that to ascend down the other side. And up ahead, a traffic circle that wasn't there on my last pass. Here we go again. I guess these circles are now the Vogue, whatever. They're now in Vogue. Whatever. But anyway, here's Boonesboro. And the downtown area. Up there at the light, we turn left to pick up MD-34. And I made it. Yep, departing Boonesboro. On the left is Maryland Jolly Tourist Cave, Crystal Grottoes. I was last there in the 80s. I'll have to go back one day. Up here someplace, the old B&O Hagerstown branch once crossed a ways back, but it's been totally removed and erased out. Can't even tell where it was anymore. Now in the Keatesville area. Now passing Antietam Battlefield. Coming into Sharpsburg. Another Civil War town. There's something about these old Civil War towns that they have a neat look to them. In most cases. Departing Sharpsburg. Got a train station up here someplace. And there it is, Antietam Station of the former Norfolk and Western, now Norfolk Southern. Here we are at Trackside, although not much is happening.
the main line over here, Norfolk Southern. I think the Monterey Railroad Club uses the station, although I'm not too sure. Our next point of interest will be a place called Back Horse Ford on the CNO Canal. We're going to pick up old Route 34 to get us down to it. This was the route until 1936, when the flood washed the bridge out and ended up building a new one. But here's Pack Horse Ford. Got a bridge support there for the original bridge for the North fucking Western. The current trestle is down around the bend. Buckle the seat belt. And up there's the modern day trestle. Apparently much higher than the old one would have been. Way up there. Be cool to take a ride over that, wouldn't it? Just turned around. There's our trestle again. And that's high up there. I parked the place to show you the Ford, but nowhere to park. I guess now with phase three of the COVID thing in force, more folks are out. Can we go back to phase one? And back on the main road, across the Potomac into West Virginia. Just crossed into Shepherdstown. Yes, there's a famous college in this town. But also, there's a train station in this town as well. A semi busy place. On this nice 80 degree day. And this is it, Shepherdstown Station of the Fulmer North fucking Western. Complete with barking dog. And the south side of the station. And here it is track side. There's a fence there, so I guess trains can't stop here anymore. Oh well. I'm back in downtown Shepherdstown. Here we pick up Route 45 westbound towards Martinsburg. It's been a few years since I last used this route. Today seems like a good day for it, for the most part. It's now around 2.47 p.m. And we've come 88 miles so far. At one time, this was a common route for us. They come in this way 35 years. And now arriving in Martinsburg. One more train station here I'll try and find where the Amtrak trains and the Mark trains both stop. There's the former freight station there with Mark train stop next to it. And this is it. 
Martin's Pro Station. It's used by both Amtrak and the Mark trains, like the one you just saw. I first came here back in 1980 on the Chessy Safety Express. That was a big day. Across the way there are buildings and things that date back to the Civil War, such as that roundhouse right there, and more over this direction. Another structure there with the roof torn off and caved in. I believe when I came here back in 1980, that was still intact. When I was here back in 85, there was an Amtrak train stopped on that curve. Yeah, that's the one. And that's looking east, back towards Baltimore and Washington. And again, there's our marked train parked up there. I was hoping for a CSX freight back at that station. Hoping one would pass, but no such luck. Even cool stuff in this town. A very pickup, Route 9, heading west. We've taken Route 11 before, though, other times. But today it's number 9. And now it's around quarter of 5. And we've come 100 miles. And back out in the spaces again. Although these spaces are gradually disappearing, there are things here that weren't here on my last pass about four years ago. That's the trend these days. No more space. I'm now passing through a place called Hedgesville. up here, downtown Hedgesville, again one lone spire, right back at Middletown. Really just the crossroads here, and here's the crossroads. Honey tasting. All right. You sometimes stop here, but not this time. It's hard to believe this ride's posted at 55 miles an hour, despite all the curves that are on it and traffic. Believe me, no one's doing 55. But right about now, it's fine by me. Other than that, a rather nice drive. Just like that song that says, I can't drive 55 because the road's too curvy. a rather peaceful road now. See how long it lasts. Well, sort of. 
are now winding up some kind of a mountain. And how do you do 55 through here? I hope we're at the top now. We're blind Hill. Yeah, good enough. Now descending with more sharp curves. What happened there? A house I can afford. Now right be in Berkeley Springs. Formerly Bath. And up here, US 522. Which I'll take north to the right as far as Berkeley Springs train station. There are some hot springs here where folks used to take baths. I believe still on the left there somewhere. Hence the original name of the town, Bath. In fact, even George Washington once bathed here. Hmm. He slept around and he bathed around. How about that? And up ahead here, our station. Berkeley Springs Station. Although it's been quite a while since it's been last used as such. And here we are, trackside. But no more track. It got pulled up about 20 years ago. A very busy yard here at one time, with many tracks. I'm panning to the north. I'll try to show you where the track used to run between here and Hancock. Right through there somewhere. Try to get her aimed up there. There we go. It went that away. About a mile of it still exists, but not this far south. But on YouTube, there is a video, one of the last trains to come this far south from Hancock. And again, pans of the station over here. Oh, loud motorcycle. Sorry about that. But there you go. I looked inside. No restoration on the inside yet. Before departing, nice old sign here. There you go. Says it all. Back to Route 9, so we can check out Kakapon Overlook. Up there is the former Berkeley Castle. It was open to the public at one time, but about 20 years back, a private resident bought it and now lives in it. I guess the man's home is his castle after all. But again, more curvature. Like I said, out here, it's to be expected. But anyway, now 4.55 p.m. and we've come 124 miles. We should soon be approaching our overlook. Up here is the overlook. Let's see if I can stop someplace. Attack upon overlook here in the Potomac River Valley. In the distance would be the town of Great Kakapon. We're not going to be passing it, though. On this side of the river is Maryland. 
right there across the way. On the left side, West Virginia. Nice farm there on the Maryland side. And down there someplace, obscured by those trees, is the Sino Canal. Somewhere in that mess. The Kakapon Overlook, just for you. And apparently the Panorama Bar and Grill has reopened. All right. That's what I really call a panorama. It sounds like bananarama. I'm now backtracking to Berkeley Springs. Our mileage back at the Overlook was 125. Now it's 127.3. Come a couple of miles just past a place called Frog Valley. I guess out here I'm represented. And up there again, the, the former Berkeley Castle. You know, private residence. As I said, the man's home is his castle, literally. And back in Berkeley Springs, Yeah, we're going north, that away. And up here again, Berkeley Station. Eight miles to Hancock, all right. Got a glass factory there. The branch to Berkeley Springs, I think it still runs as far as it's planned. But that's it. I can do full speed on this road. Not a lot of curves. Just turned off of 522 to check out CSX down here. See if anything's happening. And apparently not. But there's a bike trail on the side of the track, supposedly. Just in time. Just in time for that one. And right down the other side. Old railroad related structure there, I guess. That's some old stuff there. I don't know if that's a former station there. Although one time there was a station here. Of course, trains haven't stopped here since 1971. Probably a freight house. 
like in Martinsburg, the one we saw. And now back on the south side of the track, so I can show you what's left of the Berkeley Springs line. Here's the bears off the main line and go south to Berkeley Springs. As I said, this part of it's still in existence. All the way to Berkeley Springs at one time. And quite a grade there on that line, that part of the line. Twisty road. I guess I better get back to the main highway. And just turns around, heading back out. Well, nice new building there. I guess not much happening in there anymore. And again down here. What's left of the Berkeley Springs line? Oh, it's up there now. Okay, there it is. And recrossing it. And now recrossing the Potomac back into Maryland. Arriving in Hancock. A good place for a pit stop. Why not? Guess I'll go in there and check things out. Back on the road, and passing through downtown Hancock, on the original National Pike, part of which we saw earlier. And a place I once ate, the Park and Dine Restaurant. My father ate there too, back in the 50s. Now just after 6 p.m. and so far 140 miles. I guess at this point best to get back onto the freeway and make it back to the big city. Well blue goose. Alright. Didn't think they came in blue. Get back on I-70. The road that we, we began on. Here back, the ride should be rather nondescript. You can still keep watching though. We're now in the Hagerstown area. We're about to get passed by emergency stuff. Where's the fire? Oh, that's in McConnellsburg on the back. That's in Pennsylvania. We didn't see that on today's trip, obviously. It's now 6.23 p.m. And so far, 26 miles since departing Hancock. Total mileage, 165. Passing beneath the Appalachian Trail. I've hiked that part before. Stockton Mountain, which we also crossed earlier on the old National Pike. And now descending into Frederick. One more time. And here back we began original National Pike on that bridge there. 
now come in a full circle. They get passing through the Frederick area. Not much happening between here and Baltimore. As I said, rather nondescript. I wish it was more descript. On the way back east, there's a bit less traffic than earlier on the way out. Got a really bright sun behind me though. Somewhere there. Right now, if I were going west, I'd have a hard time seeing. Too much sun would be in my face. And up here, the exit for a place I think I've been before. That name looks familiar. Ever heard of it? And now it's getting to be around 7.15 p.m. And today's trip is so far 225 miles and 87 miles from Hancock. I'm back in the Baltimore area, almost. No, can't do New York yet, not quite yet. Maybe in the future sometime. I was last there in 1997. Video posted. Oh, check that out. And all y'all wonder why complain so much? Someone's in a hurry, but the lane narrows here. Ha ha. A bit less traffic here than usual for Saturday night. Be the sober driver who saves lives. That's me, I guess. Don't tell anybody. Apparently the sun's all the way down now. It's starting to, to lose some light. And finally, back in our part of the world. And up here, officially back in Baltimore. One of our friends there. I'm back here again in this place. Went 247 miles today. And 109 back from Hancock. And it's around 7.51 p.m. Once again, thanking everyone for the privilege of your time and for riding along with us once again. Tried to make it as pleasant as I could. But more to come. So stay around. As I keep saying, my viewers are the best folks who ever walked the face of this earth. <laughs>